Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 34 here, bringing you guys more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And today we're gonna be continuing on using the SN6. If you guys remember my last gameplay, I used the SN6 with only two attachments, which were the red dot side and the foregrip, which means this gun was pretty good from medium range to short range. But when it comes down to face battles, like 1v1, 1v1 in the hallway, they come up to your face, do you have a chance to take them out? That gun wasn't good enough for that. So today we're going to make some kind of a little tweak and uh, the only thing we're going to be adding guys will be the rapid fire. We're not going to take away nothing from it. Only one perk though which is going to be cold blooded I, I believe. So I can have enough space for three attachments. So I took away one perk and I uh, added the rapid fire which means uh, my, S my current SN6 is holding the foregrip, the red dot side and the rapid fire. Now let me explain to you guys what is the big difference maker on this gun. Now adding the rapid fire on the SN6 will actually make you stronger when it comes down to face to face battles. Uh, they're right up to your face. This gun is just incredible from hip fire. It's still accurate. Come, like if you guys saw yesterday's weapon, it was good from hip fire. It was accurate. And with now with rapid fire, it's even more stronger and the spray is just even wider, which means you can be able to hit your enemy a lot more. It goes into a bigger circle. So um so yeah, the hip fire becomes good. Uh, the one v one battles become even more easier. Um, the the cons about this though is that your medium range is eliminated. You gotta shoot them like from at least twenty to ten feet away. Now you can't be shooting them like from across the freaking map because now you gotta tap R one or L R two whatever on the PS four to slightly tap it so you can get some kind of burst fire going on because it needs to stay accurate in order for you to shoot them from far away. Yes, you may go like maniac mode, just shoot like crazy, but you're gonna miss every single one of the shots and you're just gonna waste bullets, guys. So be smart. And also, another thing that I recommend to do, guys, do not use this weapon on wide open areas. Keep it small, keep it on small corridors. This gun becomes stronger during those sites, guys. As you can see, there's gonna be like several situations right now on this gameplay. Make sure you rewind back so you guys can see some of the certain situations, because I know you guys are listening to me. And uh, look at them, and you should be able to see how strong this weapon is. So, um, but when it comes down to long range battles, which is going to happen here like a lot of times also in this gameplay, this gun just, just doesn't work. You got to have a lot of patience in order for you to shoot from long range. So be smart about it, guys. Use this weapon on tight maps. Do not use it on open wide maps, like for example, um, that one that we have a tsunami on. Do not use this weapon on that. Okay, and the other one on. Um, which was another ma big map, the Biolab. Biolab do not use this weapon. Yes, there's some parts of the map that are pretty much only have corridors and stuff, but when it comes down to domination, do not use this weapon. Okay, guys, use it on Kill Confirm and TDM on Biolab, but do not use it on Domination because the, the flags are outside and you can't do nothing about it if somebody's like shooting, shooting you from across the map. So, yeah, that's my tip to you guys on using the SN6. So that's it for now guys, that's my explanation about the SN6, it's really underrated by, you know, it's really underrated by the whole community guys, it really is. I'm the, I bet I'm the only one who's talking about the SN6 at this point. Once the ASM is taken away, one is freaking nerfed, everybody's going to be talking about the SN6. I bet you 100 bucks guys, and I'm going to be the first one who actually discovered the SN6, just like I discovered the AS ASM, like right off the first week of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but I never talked about it because I quit that week. I was actually going to do a best class settle about it. So, um, if you guys got any questions or any ideas about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, please leave it know in the comment section. If you guys got any complaints, let me know in the comment section. You know, I don't really, I don't really mind, you know. I like the complaints, complaints also, so I can change my game here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare since I'm no longer going 100% here. I'm just playing around and trying to see whether I'm fine. So, um, yeah. I miss the Black Ops 2 days where I usually go like around 50 plus kills per gameplay. And Black Ops 1 when I usually go like 60 plus kills per gameplay. You know, I miss those times. Those were the best. Flying around like it was some kind of a Halo game? Hell no, man. Just hell no. This is Halo Duty. Not Call of Duty. This is Halo Duty, man. So, um, and another thing, guys, I what I recommend. Stop using the Semtex. Stop using the frags. Start using the freaking flash grenade. It's pretty useful sometimes. And once you throw like in a group of people... These guys don't even know what to do and you're going to get an extra kill. It's just an easy kill for you guys. So start using those flashbangs because for me it's working. It's clearly working and you can detonate them whenever you want. So um, it can be from a very short distance and from a long distance. It's working for me. You should be able to see that a couple of times in this gameplay. It is kind of a difference maker. 
So um, it's about to end the gameplay right now. I believe I won like 29 and 6. I'm not sure. If not, correct me. I'll, I'll just see the leaderboards at the end. Uh, you should be able to see the, the whole record. So um, another thing that kept me pretty fast in this gameplay, guys, was lightweight. Wait, is there even lightweight in this gameplay? In this game? No, I was using low profile. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot about that. Well, leave a like, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. And if you guys want to see more Call of Duty events, Warfare, please subscribe for more. And also, guys, tomorrow... Tomorrow, I'll be setting up this SN6 best class setup, and um, I will show you guys step by step how this gun was created by me. You guys can already see some of the attachments on the bottom left, so subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to see more quality events, warfare.